Yo's me a boy, Shonen boy, here today, I'm here today to do a review of Invincible Season 2, Episode 5. Let's get straight into this, if you have not watched the latest episode of Invincible, go and watch and then come back to this review. Okay, let's get straight into this. So, we had a pretty of a break, uh, you know, I think it was a couple of months, um, break from Invincible, um, they took a break, um, it, um, this came out, I want to say, last year, around, I want to say, Christmas, and, uh, we only got, like, four episodes, um, now we're getting the rest of it, um, I don't know how long, um, I think we're gonna get another four episodes of Invincible, um, and then I don't know if they're gonna never, if they're gonna take another break, or if we're gonna do season three, um, who knows, but, um, that break was, uh, very, you know, annoying, I guess, um, because, you know, it kind of, like, you know, made the series a little bit, you know, um, like, it kind of died a little bit, because I honestly forgot about, you know, Invincible, and then when the episode came out, I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember I'm, you know, Invincible, um, I'll watch this, and then, um, you know, this episode was great, I loved it, um, but I will admit the break was a bit annoying, so, uh, yeah, but let's get straight into what happened, so, um, Mark, um, you know, got up from, uh, you know, his, um, beating, um, uh, from the, uh, you know, he got beaten down by the other, um, Viltrumites, uh, that came to the bug planet, um, where his, uh, him and his dad were, and, uh, you know, he got beat him pretty badly, like, uh, Mark, um, you know, is bleeding, and, uh, you know, he got stabbed and everything like that, and it's just like, holy shit, um, so, uh, yeah, so then we get, uh, you know, um, I think they're called the Flaxons, um, some of the, uh, Flaxen bug creatures come over to him, and they say, uh, you know, is he okay, is he dead? you know, what is this, you know, red liquid, and, uh, you know, and, and they say it's, it must be his blood, and, uh, you know, Mark says, like, oh, is it, um, is the city okay, is, uh, you know, um, is, uh, you know, Andreas, I think her name is, Andreas, um, Andreas, is she okay, um, and, uh, they take, uh, Mark to where, um, you know, um, Andreas is, and, uh, and his, uh, brother is, and, uh, you know, and then, um, he's, uh, talking to Andreas, and she says, oh, you know, uh, Mark, are you okay, and he's, I mean, he says, you know, um, this is my fault, this is me and my dad's fault, if we weren't here, um, this never would have happened, um, you know, your whole, you know, city is just and everything like that, and Andreas says, you know, don't say that, um, if you weren't here, um, we would have been, you know, dead, and, uh, I mean, I wouldn't have a son, so, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, um, every main character says this, um, you know, in every single show, if I wasn't here, this never would have happened, and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, you know, and, you know, Mark sees the destruction, and he sees what happens, and it's, like uh, you know, chaos, and there's destruction everywhere, and it's just like, oh, shit, like, you know, there was a, there was a lot of, you know, things on the line, and there's a lot of people who have, you know, well, not really people, but, uh, you know, bug people who have died, and it's just like, you know, shit, so, uh, yeah, um, so then we, uh, you know, skip two months, um, two months have gone by, uh, Mark has, uh, you know, um, gotten better, um, he's, uh, no longer, you know, bleeding out, and, uh, he has recovered, and, uh, he, um, is now going back to, uh, Earth, the, uh, Flaxons have made him a spaceship, uh, to go back to Earth with, um, it took them, you know, two months, um, and, uh, Mark looks like he's, uh, grown a bit, I guess, um, and, uh, he is, uh, you know, all, I mean, he's all the better, He's okay now, and uh, he goes back to uh, Earth. Um, he said, and Mark says, oh, you know, um, Earth should be okay. They have a lot of like superheroes with them, so me being gone two months should not really matter. Um, we see, um, you know, one of the uh, villains of the week um, trying to attack the Guardians. We see all the Guardians uh, with all these different like you know superheroes, um, you know, attacking this monster, um, which is you know pretty cool. And, uh, you know, um, and, uh, Andreas, um, has, uh, aged a lot, um, since Mark has been on the planet, um, she's become an old, um, you know, sort of, like, bug, and, uh, you know, and, um, the Flaxons, uh, age, um, you know, rapidly, um, a lot faster than humans, and, uh, she's already an old person, and it's only been, like, two months, so, uh, yeah, so, um, 
Mark takes his uh, brother with him to uh, Earth uh, because Andrea says, oh yeah, can you take your brother with you um, to uh, Earth um, because, you know, I'm going to be dead um, um, before he, uh, you know, becomes an adult and I need you to, um, you know, look after him because he is your brother and everything like that. He's a stepbrother and, uh, yeah. So uh, Mark takes, uh, you know, his uh, brother uh, to, uh, you know, Earth and uh, he, uh, you know, flies away from the uh, planet and everything like that so uh, yeah then we go back to uh you know debbie uh mark's mum, and uh they i mean she's uh come home from my uh, work and uh mark um you know sees debbie and uh tells uh, you know debbie about what's happening um you know what happened um with uh you know him and his dad i mean omi man and uh you know how they fought the uh you know the um, how they um yeah, how they had to uh, save the bug creatures and how they fought. Um, so Mark tells uh, Debbie um, about how they fought the uh, Viltrumites, the uh, two uh, Viltrumites that they fought. Um, Mark and um you know Omni Man fought um, fought on the bug planet, and uh, you know how a bunch of like you know people died and the city was destroyed, and how they had to uh, you know fight them, and uh, you know ha they had to defend the city, and uh, you know and um. And after all that, um, they, uh, you know, saved uh, the planet, but, like, it was all destroyed, so Mark had to stay behind uh, to uh, help them rebuild, and that's why he was gone for, like, two months, and, uh, you know, and then he uh, just got back now uh, with his, uh, you know, you know, stepbrother, um, and uh, Debbie, um, you know, takes this, and, he's, and she's just like, you know, oh, I, I'm, you know, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say, like, I don't even have the words, like, um, you know, um, and, and, what are we going to do with your stepbrother? Like, you know, um, he's, um, he's, uh, purple. And, like, you know, and, and, and uh, we can't just give him to a stranger. And it's, like, and uh, Mark says, well, I'll have to look after him. Um, I might have to drop out of college. And Deb's like, and Debbie's just like, no, you can't drop out. Um, you know, I'll look after him, um, you know, for a while. Um, but we have to do, we'll have to do something with him. And, uh, you know, there's a lot that's going on. I didn't even know if Nolan was alive. Like, there, there's just so much going on. And Debbie's just, like, you know, gobsmacked about what's going on. And she She's just like, you know, what the hell? So, uh, yeah. So, um, then, you know, um, Debbie says to uh, Mark that, you know, I'm, I'm going to look after him for you for a little while. You go back to, co I mean, a college and see uh, Amber and your friend um, and, uh, you know, all your friends and, uh, you know, and so that, um, you know, Mark can, you know, can go back to, uh, you know, doing what he was doing. And so, uh, yeah. So then, um, you know, Mark and Debbie are, you know, hugging, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that, that's what happens there. Um, then we go over to, uh, Cecil. Cecil and, uh, Donald have a moment, uh, Donald, uh, says to the rest of the, uh, you know, um, people around them, uh, to, uh, you know, get out, uh, because, uh, he needs to talk to, uh, Cecil about what Cecil did to him, and, uh, you know, Cecil, um, you know, says, um, you know, to, uh, Donald that I've made you into a robot, um, you know, he takes him to the, uh, white room, and he shows him the, uh, robot that he's, uh, changed, uh, Donald into, um, because if you remember in season one, Donald died, um, he, uh, blew up um the uh the sort of like car that he was in um he i mean the like the van car thing and uh he um because omni man was about to uh, kill him so he blew up the van and uh you know his um uh, apparently his uh body was uh you know burnt to a crisp but his uh, brain was still intact so they um so they basically um made him into a robot and they put and um, put his brain into the uh, robot and he's still technically donald but not really he's um you know a robot and now uh, i mean uh Cecil, um you know says that you know you're stronger you're better you're alive and uh you know donald's just like you know what have you done to me like you know i'm no longer human like you know and uh, Cecil didn't want to tell him because, you know, um, Donald was going to have, like, PTSD about what's going on. And he was going to, you know, be, um, you know, scared of himself because he, he's become, like, a robot and everything like that. And I kind of feel for, you know, uh, Donald here because, like, you know, um, it's a big, like, you know, thing to find out that you, like, you know, sort of died. And now that you're a, now you're a robot. It's like, whoa. Like, you know, so, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, big, it's a big thing for Donald. And, uh, you know. 
Jr. sees all... I don't think he ever... He doesn't really care. Like, he doesn't seem like he really gives a shit. He was just like, oh, yeah, you're stronger. You're better now. And it's like, you know, you should be thanking me. It's like, no. Like, <laughs> like I'm like... I feel for Donald, honestly. Um, you know, it's not. I mean, you know, it's not really his uh, fault. But uh, you know, Cecil needs him, and I guess, and it's just like you know. So uh, yeah. So um, we move on. Um, so Mark goes back to our college, um, sees his uh, mate. I can't remember his uh, name right now off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, and uh, he, uh, you know goes and tries to, you know, find uh, Amber, his uh, girlfriend, um, and uh, Cecil goes up to uh, Mark um, and uh, starts to uh, talking, I um, mean, you know, starts to talk with him and says, you know, why didn't you check in with me? Um, you know, um, you know, why didn't you tell me that you were back? And, uh, you know, and Mark says, um, you no, know, I didn't, um, I didn't, I, d I don't, I don't need to just check in with you all the time. Um, you know, I needed to go and see my mom and my uh, girlfriend and my uh, friends. Um, you know, and I was gonna check in with you uh, later. Um, but I, uh, you know, I needed to go and see them first. And uh, you know, and um, and uh, Cecil says like, oh no, you disobeyed my orders. You went without, you know, um, without my consent and my, um, you know, without me telling you. And uh, you know, Mark says, well, you know, I saved a lot of people. Um, you can't, you know, tell me what to do. So uh, you know, Cecil and Mark's relationship is a bit, you know, um, shaky right now. And uh, you know, Cecil says to our uh, Mark that I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to take away your uh, brother um, because you know he's an alien and we need uh, and you know, people can. Our people can take care of him, and Mark says to our uh, you know, Cecil, "Call off your men. Um, you know he's my brother. Um, you know I won't let you take him, and he's not a science. I mean, experiment. And uh, you know, and uh, Cecil's like, you know, or you know, they're already on their way. And you know, Mark and you know Cecil's relationship is you know a bit you know shaky. So uh, you know, <laughs> so I, I I don't know how this is going to go down, honestly, with uh, Cecil and Mark's relationship. Um, but we'll have to see what's going to happen next. But uh, yeah, so uh, Mark goes to uh, Amber, and uh, I mean Amber's hanging out with her uh, mates, um, and they uh, leave, and uh, Amber and Mark, um, you know, have a conversation about what I um, mean, you, know, you know, what happened. Um, you know, Mark tells Amber, you know, everything about his uh, dad and what happened to him, and uh, you know, and um, Amber's, um, you know convince me that she's a pretty good, you know, decent girlfriend for Mark, honestly. She's convinced me now, because honestly, um, in season one, I did not really like, um, you know, Amber. Um, she was, um, annoying and kind of a bitch. Um, and, um, and then, you know, um, now, but now in season two, she's great. I like her, honestly. And she's, uh, you know, and she's, uh, you know, she understands what Mark's going through and what Mark's, um, you know, has to do he's a superhero he has to do all these uh, things he has to protect people and uh, you know she knows what she's signed on for now and I like this relationship between you know Amber and Mark honestly now um, it's a lot better than it was so uh, yeah um, so moving on so uh, Donald is having a bit of a you know um, PTSD he's having a bit of a existential crisis right now um, with uh, you know um, him being a robot and uh, he has a bit of he has like a dream of the uh, robot he saw you know sort of choking him and uh, it's like you know it's a bit of like a I mean you know, you know, sort of like a nightmare for like uh, you know, Donald finding out that he's a robot now, and uh, I'm interested to you know he, um, see what's going to happen with our uh, Donald right now, and it's uh, you know really interesting. So yeah. So, uh, moving on, so the Guardians are having a little bit of a training session, um, right now, and, uh, you know, and, uh, Monster Girl and, uh, Kate are fighting each other, and we see, um, Mortal, um, is talking to, a uh, Robot, and, a uh, Robot's talking about how, you know, Monster Girl's transformations, are uh, age her back from, um, you know, being an adult, and she, you know, she's a kid, I mean, it, um, ages her to be a kid, and, uh, you know, and a monster girl's just like, hey, don't be so, you know, um, controlling. I know my power is better than you do. Um, you know, um, if you get this controlling after one date, there won't be another one. And, uh, you know, Robot and Monster Girl are having a bit of a, you know, um, sort of like, you know, test at each other because, like, you know, um, you know, even a robot's just looking out for her. Um, she thinks that she knows her, you know, herself better than him. So you know, 
and uh, Rex, I love Rex. Honestly, he's funny. I mean, it's like I mean, oh, I did eight um eight year um eight year old uh, prom. You know, just um you know happened or like um is having some you know problems. I love Rex. He's so he's such a dick, but like he's a funny um he's a funny you know sort of like he's a funny guy. I like him. Um, he's. He, you know he's a you know he's a you know he's a bitch but like you know um, but he's like you know he's kind of funny honestly um and rex in this episode is great i like him he's funny um but uh yes yeah. so we get the whole um you know backstory of uh martian and um, this uh martian dude i don't remember his uh, name but uh the uh guardians find out that he is um not from you know earth he's from mars and uh he uh you know infiltrated um the uh the guardians um because he wanted to you know he wanted to get to earth he wanted to uh he wanted to see the stars and he uh you know he uh basically whacked one of the uh you know the one of the astronauts one of the astronauts that were helping mark uh you know come um you know on that mission and uh you know he hits one of them and uh and he uh takes over um you know, it, well he shape shifts into um the astronauts i mean uh, it looks like the astronaut and uh he uh goes to earth he infiltrates the uh, guardians and he was inspired to do good and he's doing this whole backstory and it was kind of funny uh, because like hey what happened to the uh astronaut and he, and the martian is just like uh, yeah, um, I don't really know what happened to the astronaut, and, uh, he must have been taken over by the, uh, Sackwoods, and, uh, you know, he gets taken over by one of the, uh, Sackwoods on the, uh, you know, on the Mars planet, and, uh, this is all of his, uh, fault, um, you know, why the, uh, Sackwoods are coming to, uh, Earth now, um, and, uh, are trying to attack Earth, um, and all the, uh, Guardians are looking at him like, bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, um, so we see, um, the uh, astronaut that's been taken over by the uh, Sackwoods, and there's a there's like hundreds of Sackwoods, there's like hundreds of thousands of Sackwoods just all over him, and are uh, and are uh, controlling him, and uh, you know, and they're coming for Earth right now, and uh, you know, and an immortal, um, you know, makes a team of like um Martian, um the Martian man, and like a bunch of other, a, a bunch of other of the uh, Guardians, um you know, are going to uh, you know attack the uh, ship that's coming to uh earth and uh you know it's a bit of a you know big deal honestly it's a bit of a big deal um because if the sackwoods you know come here they will be able to control all humans and take over the uh world so uh you know it's a bit of a you know big deal so yeah so then um you know the guardians uh, start to gear up and uh we go um to um rex has an idea to recruit um you know eve eve uh we go back to uh eve and uh eve's having dinner with her uh, parents and uh you know eve um after what happened with uh eve uh with um you know her almost killing um those uh people and those pe i mean uh, she tried to save some people um from um you know the bridge um incident um and they um they're about to uh die um but you know she you know fucked up um you know eve fucked up and uh she's uh you know kind of pouting over it and uh you know and she's a bit you know depressed and uh rex comes and helps her you know get over her i um, get over a bit um get over her depression and i'm um, you know, and they have a bit of a conversation, um, you know, about, you know, Rex and um, her's relationship and, you know, and, and what, um, and she has the uh, power um, to sort of get back out there and do good, you know, Eve does. And, uh, you know, and she shouldn't be bummed down by, you know, what happened. Um, you know, she fucked up, but, you know, she has to get back out there. Um, she's a superhero. She needs to, you know, buck up and, you know, um, and be better and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, Rex tells her to, uh, you know, get back out there. And, uh, you know, I like this, uh, you know, sort of conversation that, you know, Eve and Rex have. It's a really sweet um, sort of, like, moment uh, for uh, Rex and uh, Eve. And I really liked it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so then, um, you know... Um, Eve says, okay, I will join the, uh, squad. And I'll join the Guardians for this mission. And, uh, yeah. So, um, Eve's gonna come along, um, and then we go back 
to uh, Debbie. Uh, she's trying to uh, feed, uh, you know, Mark's uh, brother. Um, and uh, Mark comes home to, uh, you know, um, to see him. Uh, Cecil um, comes to, uh, you know, Mark's house uh, to recruit him into the, uh, you know, into the Guardians um, so that he can go with them to um, stop the uh, ship. Um, and uh, he, um, uh, Mark says, okay, um, you know, what's happening, mean, you know, he knows what's going on with the uh, Sackwards, he was on the mission, so, uh, you know, he goes uh, with uh, Cecil, um, and he, um, and, you know, um, to uh, stop the uh, Sackwards coming to our Earth. Um, so he tells uh, Amber that he has to, uh, you know, um, go into space again um, to, uh, you know, fight these uh, Sackwards, and she seems like she's okay with it, but she's a bit, you know, annoyed with uh, Mark always having to, like, you know, go off and, you know, save the world, and, you know, he has no time for, like, you know, um, Amber, which, you know, makes sense, but, like, I understand where Amber's sort of coming from, I guess, but, uh, yeah. So uh, Mark uh, joins the uh, Guardians and Eve joins the uh, Guardians and they have a little bit of a, um, you know, they uh, Mark and uh, Eve have a, I mean, a hug uh, because they haven't seen each other for a while and, uh, you know, and they... They discuss the uh, mission and what's going to happen and what's going to happen, and uh, you know, and they sort of rocket it off with the with the, with the space rocket, and uh, you know, and they're going to stop uh, you know the Sackwards um, you know, coming to Earth. So uh, yeah, then we uh, then we go to our uh, Rex. Rex um, and them go back to our base, and uh, Rex says, you know, there won't be two earth-shattering, you know, um, you know, things going on here, will there? And uh, you know, Rex, you had to say that. So uh, the lizard gang, um, the lizard, um, you know, um, the lizard villains uh, take over a military base, and uh, they uh, they have the nuclear codes, and uh, they. Uh, uh, Rex, um, so, um, Rex, uh, Kate, and, uh, Rachel, uh, go off and fight the, uh, lizard gang, um, that are attacking the, uh, the Navy base, the, the military base, um, and they've got the, uh, nuclear codes, and we see the, uh, different, uh, lizards, we've got one, ma I mean, a really muscular guy, we've got another one that's really, you know, has, like, these claws, and we have the leader, um, who has the, uh, you know, lizard mask on he has a gun and uh you know they're attacking the uh, military base um with the uh, the uh, nuclear launch codes and uh you know rex um you know uh rachel and also kate have to go and fight those guys so uh, yeah so then uh, we go back to uh you know uh, mark and also eve and um mark tells uh eve um the story you know with his uh, dad and everything like that and you know and you know eve is uh you know shocked and she says no you you know you win the shitty dad award of i mean <laughs> of the uh, year and um you know and mark's just like yeah my dad's kind of you know I mean, you know, kind of shit, but like, you know, I've got to protect my uh, brother, and uh, you know, and there's a lot that's going on, but uh, yeah, so yeah, um, and then we got Immortal, uh, you know, um, you know, trying to get some information out of the um, Martian guy, um, you know, Immortal says, you know, what's, um, you know, a Martian, um, the Martian person here is going to tell us all of Mars's secrets, I mean, you know, won't you? And it says, like, you know, I don't really want to do that, but I think I'm going to be forced to, and it's like, you know, it's kind of funny, honestly, um, but uh, yeah. So our Martian tells them about, you know, the spaceship that's heading um, to uh, Earth. Um, there may be uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, Sackwards on there. And, uh, you know, they've taken over the, uh, you know, the astronaut person that was on um, on the mission um, with our Mark. And, uh, you know, and they're using him to, uh, you know, power the ship. Um, they, um, they, they've got the Martians helping them uh, to power the uh, ship. And, uh, you know, there's... Um, and apparently, uh, they can't just cut the power to the, uh, you know, the ship because they will know who it is. Um, so they have to, like, sort of infiltrate the ship. Um, um, you know, um, they'll try to have to infiltrate the ship. But then um, the uh, Martian ship uh, shoots some missiles at the uh, gang. And uh, the, um, the spaceship, you know, explodes. And, uh, you know, and... Um, Eve has to protect them all with like a force field and has to like you know sort of like um, make sure that they don't uh, you know um, die in this in the vacuum of space because um, you know not all, um, you know not none of them can breathe in space so uh, yeah 
So uh, Eve uh, does uh, like a force field, and they also like push um, to where the uh, ship is, and they get inside the uh, ship. So uh, yeah. Um, so then um, they get the message from uh, Cecil, um, you know, um, Rex, uh, you know, um, Kate and also uh, Rachel get the message from uh, Cecil about the, uh, you know, about the base being attacked, uh, the military base being attacked and they have to go and save them. So, uh, yep, that's what's going on there. Um, so then, uh, you know, even the Guardians and Invincible, um, you know, get into the uh, ship, um, the uh, Martians see them and uh, one of the, uh, you know, one of the... Um, and one of them, um, one of the uh, superheroes, uh, you know, kills one of the, uh, you know, Sackwards, and uh, they, um, but apparently they can share minds, so uh, they know when they, uh, one of them dies, so they, um, so when the, when they got, when that Sackward got killed, um, you know, all of the other Sackwards came um, to attack um, the rest of the Guardians, um, so uh, yeah. So, um, they have to deal with that now. Um, the, uh, astronaut, um, you know, is, uh, coming to, uh, you know, attack them with all the, uh, sackwards, and it's a really dire situation right now, and it's sort of, uh, jumping to, between these, uh, two events that are going on right now. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, we go back to, uh, Rex, and also, um, you know, and also Kate and, uh, Rachel, um, you know, going to the military base to, uh, fight, uh, the, uh, lizard squad, and, uh, they're, you know, they seem like they're doing pretty well against those guys so uh, yeah um, then we jump back to uh, you know um, invincible and the uh, um, the sackward astronaut um, they're trying to uh, combat uh, all these uh, sackwards that are trying to attack them and uh, you know and also um, and a um, robot uses an, um, uses a move um, that it makes them paralyzed um, and uh, he uh, and they start attacking all the uh, sackwards and uh, you know and there's a you know it's a bit of a you know um, hard fight for these uh, guys but I'm pretty sure they'll um, they'll win honestly uh, but uh, yeah and then we go back to uh, you know Rex um, you know Kate and also Rachel um, and they are uh, you know they're fighting the uh, lizard gang and uh, you know and Kate is having a tough time with the uh, you know the big guy the big lizard guy and uh, she is uh, duplicating and everything like that um, and the big guy sort of uh, grabs uh, Kate and it starts you know breaking her apart like sort of ripping her apart and uh, she gets uh, you know um, she gets down to a last duplicate and uh, you know and the lizard guy grabs her and smooshes together um you know Kate with one of her you know duplicates and kills Kate and it's just like holy shit like I did not you know think that we're gonna get a character death um in this uh, episode I was not expecting that um you know Kate duplicate I mean it's just gets destroyed um gets like clapped together and uh you know and she, I mean, her organs and everything like that and her eyeball is coming out and uh she is dead she is dead dead so, uh, yeah. So then, uh, Rachel, um, you know, says, you know, Kate! And it's like, you know, it's pretty dire, I mean, right now, honestly. And we see, uh, you know, the Sackwood, um, you know, um, um, you know, the Sackwood guy is about to, uh, you know, um, attack uh, the uh, Guardians and, uh, you know, Eve has a force field around them uh, because all the Sackwoods are attacking them and, you know, and uh, Invincible's like, you know, come on, Eve, you can do this, you know, giving her motivation, I guess. So, uh, yep. So then, um, you know, we go back to our uh, Rex. Rex is pretty beat up. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know, gotten slashed and everything like that, and he's, uh, bleeding. Um, we see, uh, Rachel, uh, go inside of one of the, uh, you know, um, lizard guys, and he goes, and she goes inside of his eye and, like, rips his head apart, which is, you know, kind of cool, and, uh, he, uh, dies. So, uh, yep, so that's one for them. Um, and then she tries to attack the big guy, but the big guy grabs her and eats her, and then and, um, and Rex is just like she doesn't stay and she doesn't stay small for long and she tries to go big and uh, you know and overpower him but he overpowers her and you know and also swallows her and uh, and he's like and it, but it makes him bleed a little bit um, because you know all of his organs were like sort of like you know um, she was growing inside and uh, you know he did get messed up from you know her attack but like you know <laughs> so uh, yeah so she also dies so Rachel um you know dies as well which is um you know, surprising um both Kate and Rachel die at the same time which is like bro so uh, yeah 
So uh, Rex is just like, holy shit! Like you know, he is scared. He starts to uh, you know, running. Um, he starts to run away. Um, you know, he gets uh, slashed. Um, you know, by the uh, you know, the lizard you know, girl with the you know, with the claws. Um, he uh, you know, attacks her. Um. And uh, he wins against her. Um, he uses one of his like you know throwing sort of like um, you know light sticks, um, and um, and it you know cuts her in half. Her organs go everywhere. It's a lot. It's pretty bloody this show, honestly. So uh, yeah. Um, so he uh, you know um, she, and he kills uh, that person. Um, and then Rex um, you know tries to fight the big guy, but the big guy sort of beats him down and you know and also bites off his uh, arm. And uh, you know. And he has to sacrifice his uh, arm, but he has like one of these like light coins in his uh, in his hand, and it blows up. Um, you know the big guy's uh, head, and uh, Rex is the only one who survives, which is like bruh. So uh, yeah, so um, he has to, he had to lose an arm. Um, he might be able to get a mechanical arm from a uh, Caesar, um, but uh, yeah, um, but then. <clears throat> but then uh, the uh, the boss of the uh, lizard gang um, comes to where Rex is and is pointing a gun at his uh, head and um, and he's like you know um, you know um, a brave you know brave man is it the brave man who's um, who defeated everyone or is it um, the one with the gun or whatever he says I can't remember what he says um, but uh, you know and Rex says you know just do it already and uh, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna come and save Rex I don't think Rex is gonna die here but I will have to wait and see I um, mean that's where we leave off from those guys um, and then Eve um, you know I um, you know goes um, full power and she uh, you know um, she you know she uh, uses, I um, mean, you know, her force field to, like, you know, push away all the uh, sackwards, but she uses up all of her power, and she passes out, and uh, that's pretty much where the uh, episode uh, ends. Uh, the uh, sackwards are about to attack them all, and it's uh, pretty dire right now. It's a pretty dire situation right now, so, uh, yeah. Um, so that's where the episode ends, and then we get an end credit scene with, uh, you know, um, with... Uh, Alan, Alan, that's his name, Alan, yeah, um, we get an end credit scene with, our uh, Alan, um, Alan is okay, he's alive, and, uh, he, uh, you know, gets out of the, uh, you know, the, out of the healing pod, I guess you could say, uh, out of the healing pod, and he is ripped, like, he is ripped, and, uh, the, uh, guy, the senator who was, uh, with him, uh, tells, uh, Alan that now he can, uh, you know, fight a Viltrumite, um, he, um, you know, one-on-one, -on -one. he might be strong enough to fight a Viltrumite, because he, um, you know, um, the, uh, se and the senator person, uh, turned off his, uh, life support, and he had a 50-50 chance of surviving or dying, and if he, and if, in and if uh, Alan survived, he'd be stronger than ever. So, you know, Alan survived, and now he's gotten stronger than ever, and, um, and the, uh, senator's um, person says to uh, Alan, he rips off his, uh, beard, and he says, um, you know, I'm a Viltrumite, I'm the first Viltrumite to ever rebel against the, uh, Empire, and I need you to go back to, uh, Earth and grab, um, you know, Invincible, um, so that, you know, we can, um, you know, so that he can help us, he's the uh, key, um, you know, and, uh, we need his help, so, uh, you know, Alan's going to find, uh, you know, Invincible, and he's gonna help, um, you know, he's gonna go and help those guys so uh, yeah so that's what happens in this uh, episode this episode was amazing I'd give it a good solid 9 out of 10 I really enjoyed it um, um, the only thing that you know I don't like was the whole you know gap that we had the tr um, the you know, couple of months um, break that they took um, so that's the only thing that brings this down I guess but this episode was uh, great I really enjoyed it there was an it was action packed there was um, you know people who died um, you know Kate and Rachel died and I did not expect that and uh, you know it was really you know really good this episode was really good I really enjoyed it so uh, yeah but anyways this is your boy Shonen Boys signing out you know like comment and subscribe uh, what did you think about this episode of Invincible uh, what do you think about you know um, Kate and Rachel dying did you expect that? Were you shocked? Um, you know, what do you think is going to happen with our uh, Mark and our uh, Eve? Uh, with our, uh, you know, with their sackwards? And um, do you think that? Um, I you mean, know, how are they going to get out of this one? And uh, and are you glad to see? Uh, you know. Um, and Alan back in action and he's alive. Uh, put your thoughts down below and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day.